Elgin and Dan are hooking up all the tires. And once they're all hooked up, they'll let out a little bit of air. You want to go down to like 18. Every tire will be at 18 because they're all plugged in at the same time. And that's true for when we air them up. When we want to go back up to say 32 or 34, we can air them up all at one time. Okay, go down to 18 or so. Yeah? You're only at 8! What are you doing? Pressure. <laughs> We're gonna go down to 18, not 8. Just the light, heat, heat. Cool. I got me a big donut. A dog, and I didn't even get one. You can have half mine because it's no. big. Okay, so this is the same road as we were on last time, but we're out on a hunt. We're looking for our drone controller, which we think we may have left at the last drone filming down by the natural corral. So here we go. camera but there's pretty white fat fluffy snowflakes this cabin is built around uranium mines last time we came here we saw people staying but if you look online it says don't even walk on the tailings don't get out and go around the mines or anything and here they were staying the night here I don't know if I want to do that I don't want uranium poisoning We're going to head down to the natural corrals now and see if the drone controller is where we were once. We went down there. That was the last time we had it. Bighorn Cave! Bighorn Cavern. What's in there? Well, this is rigging, so you can lower yourself down on ropes. Oh, I'm not sure I want to do that. I'm a klutz. If I were to rig myself, and I'd never get out. What do you see? A big cave. A big cave? Well, it's just a cave. Well, let's see what we can find. doesn't look appealing to me. So if you want to be lowered down, you can get the key and hook yourself onto something and go down that hole. Hey guys, look what we found! Yeah. Can you get in? No. No, it's locked. I'm over oh. here. You can peek through the hole. It's a pretty good view. She doesn't want to take a chance. She's going to jump Yeah. Hey, okay, so what's cave, down there? Just a big cave, old hole in the ground. Huh? Just a big old hole in the ground. I'll tell you what. There had to have been dead animals down there, yeah. too. I bet so. That is cool. Oh, my gosh. So you want to get a key and go down there? Yeah. No. 
That's a pretty big hole. So, why do they secure this off a lot better than the other one? Well, this is actually made to where you can work around inside. You can tie ropes. You can see where people have had ropes on that pipe. Huh? Where you can tie ropes off. I mean like this right here. I mean you can actually walk on it. Well, because this one is made for people to walk around on. Oh. You know, this is actually made where people can go down in it. I wonder why they put that shield up there for. You know, that. Why did they put that on there? Well, Keep it from getting it's hot. Raining. If it's raining, your ropes don't get wet. Maybe, who knows? Right, might be too hot too. From the sun in the summertime. So we're at Bighorn Cave. It is pretty darn cool. It's actually a pretty long cave. And it will go clear to Horse, Horse Thief Cave to the west. So it's pretty cool. Not my cup of tea. I've been spelunking. It can be scary if the lights are out. Yeah. Heading to Horse Thief Cave. I think the Horse Thief Cave is just right over here. And since there's a cave right behind us, it makes me think that maybe there's caves all over underneath us. So this is Horse Thief Cave. This is the entrance. We do have to have a key to be able to get down in it. But I'm going to take you as far as we can go. Is there uranium in there? I don't want to go in if there's uranium. You're not going to catch me because I'm not going to fall. There's not uranium, just horse thieves. <laughs> this is way cool. The boys are going down. If you hear something like, oh, <laughs> you know, they fell in. It's all, I can feel how cold it is clear up here. Yeah. You know, there could be a bear down there, you guys. Look at those guys. They're going in a hole up there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Wait, guys. Well, hunt. Melissa's trying to get down gracefully. I'm trying to avoid the snow and ice that you walked on. Well, that was probably smart. But I have my cowboy boots on and not my hiking boots. Yeah, you be careful because I'm going to video this one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You have to come see it from here. Oh, that's cool, you guys. So Dan thinks he's going to make his way down this cave. I think way back when, the horse thieves liked to hide back here. Nobody would ever find him. How am I going to get down? The same way you got up. Oh, it is uranium. What? Look. 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 Uranium up there, guys. Look at that those. looks like uranium to me. No, uranium's yellow. That is yellow, Elge. Look. Yeah, I'm talking right here. Oh. I don't want to be around uranium. See these crystals? Oh, how pretty. Oh, yeah. And right there. We're going to have to do a movie. Can you guys do a movie just on this? You probably should have brought a mask. Well, guess who happens to have a mask? I'm just going to pull my underwear over. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mask too. You do? Yeah. Is it shining up there? That's so cool. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Look at the back, guys. 
Let's we not go down that, that way. I don't want to do that. You need to come this far at least. You could go way down there. See that? This is dark. When you don't have the flashlight, it's dark. You're pointing right at the cave entrance. I'm not, that's the cave entrance over there. Yeah. That's how we came in. Holy cow. Oh! Oh! Was that you? <laughs> that's oh. not me. Oh. That, that was a mate. Belgian? Yes. Oh! Nope. I'm standing on a thin rock over a big hole. Well, da, come, I think you should just step you come, back. Come back this way. She has red eyes. I'll go with her. <laughs> Look at that. Well, it says rocks with dust on them are very slow. Problem with LED flashlights? Uh, when they go out, they go out. Yeah. How far do you want to go? A mile? <laughs> a mile. Look at you guys, it's all the way back there, you can see. Look at this hole over here. I'll let people go up in that. Oh, I'm sure they have. Yeah, they do. There's sure. reflectors in there. Hey, this is a cool video right there. Look at that, you guys. Right, right. Oh, Dan barely. Dan. Yeah, look at somebody hit it, man. <laughs> okay, you ready to shut the lights off and yeah. see how dark it really yeah. is? Ready? Yeah. Could you imagine trying to get out of here without a light? No, you and do it. You no, you'd get lost. You'd have to crawl. Yeah, I know, but which way would you crawl? I think it could take you a week or more if you could ever get out. Holy cow, look at down there. Oh my gosh, look at Elch. There's probably more cave you can go in. Is that where we were? No. no. We didn't go down in there. Steve cave. I oh, I can see the outside hole. I don't see the third one. Oh man, this is cool. Dan's not gonna catch you. No. <laughs> he caught me. He's okay with me biting the dust, I guess. So we just got out of Horse Thief Cave. That is way cool. Horse Thief stayed down there very long. No water and no flat place to sleep. Turns out it's a climb to get out of there. It just keeps going up and up and up. I thought we were out. <sighs> I didn't see the sign. Did you see the I sign? I didn't see the sign, and I didn't hear Elgin talk about the radon. I heard him talk about radon, but I thought he was teasing. And when you see a sign like this, pay attention. If you're going to go into a mine, look for these signs. I can't believe we missed it. Radon! I fell really hard on a rock. No, we didn't. We couldn't find her. We back into something and it, we were like, what was that? And Melissa was there and all of a sudden she wasn't and so it freaked us out. We thought we ran over her and then we had a oh, oh. <laughs> That really scared us. I think that I did something really scared us to death. We thought we ran over her. 
come out of that cave and I fall on flat rock. Okay, so it hurts a lot and I got... Just a little bit, but enough oh. to go through it. Oh, I got a big, I got a big gash in my knee. got a gash on her knee. That is a big gash, clear to the bone. No wonder it hurts so bad. We'll have to put a band-aid on it, keep the dirt out. So Dan and Lane have a, a cool first aid kit. First time we've had to use it though. Yeah, but do we have any? Are you holding it together? I am, because it hurts. Uh, ibuprofen. How many? Four. Are you still holding that shut now? Oh! Oh! Okay, so the problem is, the most painful spot is not right here. It's right here. That's a problem. Well, maybe you should go get it checked out. Is it right there? Right there. There it is. We found it. It's okay. Hilton's gonna go get his drone controller that he left out here for There's two no weeks. For anything. Two weeks! It might be just fine. That's way cool. Two weeks! Or it might be full of water. I gotta keep it just flat until I take it apart. So it's been a really horrible ride. Because my knee hurts so bad. That's a good view for lunch. Yeah. I'd just be going for stitches and an x-ray. They can't screw that up, can they? Yeah. You don't know. What are they going to sew together? <laughs> well, I would hope they'd sew together the pieces of skin that are open. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the life. Devil's Canyon. That looks pretty cool. Well, we went to one spot where you overlook it, but we didn't go to both spots. There's one right here if you go left that'll go to Devil's Canyon Overlook. Yeah, we'll go that way. What are you eating for a snack? Snickers. Lucky dog. <laughs> Thank you. 
I took ibuprofen and rested my knee for about an hour at lunch, I felt good enough to drive down the road. Oh, it's yeah. purple. I saw it's one kind of like on that. that. And then the red. And it's like an agate. Holy crap, it's everywhere. These rock hounds. I did find one pretty rock. Did you? Mm-hmm. Just a little tiny one. Steep this is. How steep do you think it is? Poor Von Do you think she'll freak out? Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't know. of a cliff. I have fear running through my legs. It's like dead end. It is a dead end, isn't it? Yes. This is what you can see from my view. <laughs> That's over the cliff. That but this is at part. my eye level. Did you put any? She brought a boulder. <laughs> it's not big enough. I gotta go get another one for Alex. It's just gonna ride right over the top on its way down. Probably. <laughs> I think that's what this one was for too. Somebody else did the same thing. Hey Melissa, is this one big enough? <laughs> We've got plenty, come on. She's got a little tiny oh, rock. No, we need that's not big enough for ours. <laughs> She's still putting rocks behind the tires. 
I just want to be clear that I am not driving down. I'm not riding down. I am not riding down. I'm sliding down. <laughs> Now that we're at the top of the hill, we have to go back down. I'm going to put it on the other camera so you can see it. I'm just going to leave my this off in case I need to bail. No, you put it on. I need to bail. Wayne, <laughs> put it on. What? Dan, you promised me. I promised you what? That it wouldn't slide. It won't. But you still need to have your seatbelt on. But what if you forget to do something? I'm not going to forget. What am I going to forget to do? I'm going here and I'm going over one. Yeah? Is it first gear? How do I tell? It says M1, M2. M1. M I want M1. M1. That one? Yep. Okay, go. Okay, no straight. Can't see the road. Oh my gosh, I cannot okay, see it. Okay, straighten it out a little. Oh. There you go. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm... Go left a little. Don't push it. Left. Left. I'm looking out the window. Left. Okay. Good thing about going yeah. second is you can just follow. Okay. wasn't bad. Notified of all new videos and click the bell and set to all.